Hey guys, Casey here. Welcome back to Lions Den Investments and Reviews. Um, got a big question here for everybody, and I'm sure you guys are asking the same question. What in crypto hell just happened last night? Um, I woke up this morning, I see we had a flash crash, and uh, the first thing I started thinking to myself was, you know, is this the beginning of a bear market? Um, we're going to analyze that real quick. We're going to set our emotions aside and just look at, at what is going on here. Uh, because I know a lot of you guys are probably panicked and scared right now. And, you know, I don't blame you, okay? But with that being said, again, let's set our emotions aside because I want to show you what I specifically told you uh, back on November 26th in regards to, you know, what Bitcoin could potentially do here. Because as you can see, you know, this is, this is probably like a worst case scenario uh, that unfolded in front of our eyes here. But... Again, I don't want you to be panicked and have fear here because, look, guys, the options contracts that, that take place on Fridays, right? I, I have told you over and over and over again that it is a way for the banks and Wall Street to manipulate prices, bring prices down so that they can buy in on the assets that you hold, right? Shake people out, okay? This is a flash crash. It's, it's you know... It's one of those things that, that can spark your emotions and trigger your emotions and get you to sell. And that's exactly what happened here. I mean, we, we dropped uh, down at the very bottom of the wick 39.24%. We did bounce back up. Buyers brought us back up here uh, off this wick right to about 29%. Okay, so we've got a 29% drop on Bitcoin right now. But if you look back here when we dropped the first time, down at the very, very lowest part of that wick on the the previous drop, we came down to about 24.9%. We'll just call it 25%. Okay. So, you know, is it a bigger crash? Yes, it's definitely a bigger crash. But let's go to my video here that I, that I you know, shot back on November 26th because what did I say here? Let's go ahead and play it real quick. We still got the weekly um, support line right here, and we've we've got a uh, touch right there. So we bounced off of that. We could come back down. We could even go lower than fifty-two thousand, guys. We could even wick below support here and drop to about fifty-one thousand or fifty-one, you know, roughly about fifty-one thousand, maybe even fifty thousand. I'm not gonna say that we're gonna drop that low, but we could potentially drop that low, and you know, that would be, you know, like a strong wick below that support there and then bounce back up. Um, that's not unheard of when you're looking at technicals. Now, if we drop below this and we break all this support right here and we fall lower, the next level that I'd be looking at is about 46,640. To me, that would be the lowest that Bitcoin could go, okay, to form a new higher low. That is the lowest that we could go. Because see, if we fell in here, look, we're still above our um, our our higher low back here. Okay, so we could still fall that low and still be. Let me show you real quick. If I move this down, you know, let's say price fell down in here. Look, your trend's still up. Okay, see, the trend is still up, guys, and that's what I want to tell you here, because. You know, if we if we get rid of these uh, price increases here, if we go to the look at this, got one there. We touched right in here. We came down. And that was another bounce, and again, right now, we're right here. Okay, so the trend is still up. Now we did wick down, and it's funny because I I did mention you know we could wick below. Uh, we definitely went below. We came all the way down here to 42,000. Okay, now 42,000, ironically, is where I had a uh, support line, where you can see we had pivot pivot movement or a pivot point where the price got rejected, came back down over here, as well as right in here. Okay, so you can see that's that's where they they took that price down down to, and you got to ask like. One of the big questions is like, well, why do we drop so much? Because these options contracts, right, when they place their their uh, short positions or, you know, the long positions, when those expiration dates are hit uh, for, for people that were trying to go long, 
they get liquidated, right? So it places a sell order and that's a cascading event. And that cascading event of sell orders gives you, you know, just the ongoing mass, you know, surge in, and prices going down. So that's why you're seeing these, these huge, huge drops like that. Um, but I mean, as long as we can remain guys above, like I said, that $46,000 mark, um, I think we're going to be okay. Now, this just kind of gives me confirmation on what uh, Raul Paul was saying about extended rallies. Um, and I think that's what you're, you're starting to see here is, is an extended market cycle. And he did say, if you go back and watch some of the interviews that he's done just over the past two weeks, he kept saying that December would be uh, a painful month because of the volatility. So this could be, guys, just an indication of more volatility to come. And, you know, if they can bring the prices down this much within a uh, like a 12 hour time period, well, who's to say they can't jack that price back up uh, just as as high as as the price has fallen here? So, you know, you take a 15 percent drop, volatility is increasing. You could very likely get a 15 percent increase up as well. OK, so, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to pay too much attention, like I said, to the technicals at this point, because volatility is getting so uh, it, it's it's increasing so much that it really just kind of. At this point of the game, with, with the stage of the bull cycle that we're in, it kind of throws the technicals out the window, obviously, because you can see that it, nobody could have predicted this. There's a lot of people who got wrecked today. So, guys, if you're in, like, leverage positions and you're day trading this stuff at this point, I'd be very, very careful. Make sure you got your stop losses in place and and start playing with some risk management. Be smart here, okay? Don't Don't throw everything on the table. Uh, and go all in on on bets that are leveraged to me at this point in the game it's just stupid especially if you're up in profits so be very safe uh make sure you use no stop losses and with that said guys that's really all i have for today's video just wanted to come out here reassure you that we are still in a in an uptrend until we break uh 46 000 for sure and we're placing lower highs and going in on a downtrend here so let me show you what I'm talking about you know you got this trend going down right so as long as this trend if we can bounce back above that and flip this back into support okay you could set up a, a, a new lower high but we could we could definitely come back down and bounce off this support and that could that could bring us into you know more of a reversal pattern Again, though, it's hard to determine because, uh, like I said, technicals at this point really don't matter. Um, just 46,000 is, is the mark that I'm looking at. So I'll come back out here and let you guys know what, what I'm thinking as the market moves forward. Uh, yeah, bad day for cryptos, obviously. And I don't want to be that guy that comes out here and just talks about what happens on good days. I want to come out and tell you guys what happens on bad days as well. So... The volatility is picking up. The markets go up and down. And uh, have no fear, my friends. Okay? Till next time.